Good day. My name is Gustavo Lopez Jr. My team members are Tiana Polman and Terence Salam. And we are hailing from the prestigious school of Stamford Ecumenical Junior College, located in Tangrela Town. Today we will be presenting on the mood, be it resolved, that the sustainable tourism industry will translate to improve quality of life for surrounding communities and tourism destinations. The United World Tourism Organization defines sustainable tourism as taking full account of the current and future economic, social and environmental impacts, addressing the needs of visitors, industry, environment and host communities. In a nutshell, sustainable tourism takes into consideration three components, that being of economic, environmental and sociocultural impacts. Sustainable tourism should not focus only on addressing visitors, but industries, environment, and host communities. If all four stakeholders do not work cohesively, then it is said that sustainable tourism will be unachieved. Though we believe that sustainable tourism is a positive start to improving the quality of life, we do believe more that it won't be able to create changes if political will, cost and funding, and interest of stakeholders are all lacking. My group members and I will explain to you why we do not believe that a sustainable industry will translate to improve the quality of life of surrounding communities in tourism destination. Political will, the involvement of the government in establishing and maintaining sustainability is critical. However, it is rare that government enforces set regulation that business should adhere to practicing sustainable development. A proposal was written by a force made up of Ministry of Fishes and Forestry, the Ministry of Tourism, and other departments. Government passed the policy that styrofoam and plastic should be banned by April 22, 2019. Yet, as of today, September 13, 2019, styrofoam and plastic is being used every day in our society. In order for sustainable tourism to improve quality of life, for surrounding communities, government needs to enforce these policies. Achieving sustainability on a whole is costly. Keep in mind that sustainable tourism should not only focus on addressing the issues of visitors, but also the host community, involving consumers and local businesses. For example, a pack of 50 plastic cups costs about $4. If the styrofoam and plastic ban should be passed, Local businesses will be paying a $14 increase when they purchase biodegradable cups. This is then in inevitable that consumers will have to adjust to a financial increase. Will you be able to adjust to a financial increase? In order to improve quality of life for surrounding communities, cash and funding must be of great interest. Lack of interest and awareness of stakeholders. In order for sustainable tourism to improve the quality of life for surrounding communities, all stakeholders must have an equal level of vested interest and in ensuring that all component of tourism sustainability as defined by UNWTO is taken into consideration. It is common that stakeholders are only interested in factors that affect them directly. Therefore, if stakeholders don't see the need to have intergenerational equity that takes into consideration the access of resources for current and future generation, then the impact of sustainability will only benefit some and not all components of sustainable tourism. For example, the issue with the BSI, the sugar industry, escalated over the years. Though they are not directly stakeholders of the tourism industry, they were to have a level of corporate social responsibility in ensuring that proper disposal of waste was taken to avoid water pollution of the new river. Since now it has been a problem, all stakeholders in the immediate vicinity wants to actively try to find a solution. This goes to show that lacking interest and awareness will always pose an issue in sustainability. Sustainable tourism is rather a journey than a goal.